If you're looking for a great smartphone on a budget, then here are seven things you need to know about the Galaxy A24. Hey, what up? It's your boy Mob Justice back again with another video. And for today, we're getting into a review of the Galaxy A24 smartphone. Now, we normally tend to review uh, devices on the top end of the scale, some of the more premium flagship uh, devices. But I do know uh, that many of us are usually in the market for some of the more budget friendly options. And I do think that the A24 is a great choice. As always, this uh, video is brought to you by the team over at Lion Media. Uh, head on over to check out some of the crispiest uh, photo, video and audio content. That's www.lionmedia.com. Head on over, uh, check it out and just see uh, what the team can do for you. And if you're in the market, here are seven things that you need to know about this device. First thing to note is that uh, the A24 is basically a watered down version um, of uh, the S23. It's about the same size as the S23 Plus. I'm going to display the specs of this particular device on the screen so that you can see what we're talking about. So you've got the same general design as the S23. As I said, this phone is about the same size as an S23 Plus and uh, Samsung has an approach where they basically take the same general uh, design language and waterfall it down um, you know their whole line of devices because Samsung has devices you know from the low all the way up to the top end and they basically carry the same design language but with varying degrees of uh, you know luxury power specs and uh, that type of thing depending on where you are on that price scale number two on the list is that uh, the camera is actually quite good you know the photos are you know pretty great and then the video is pretty decent uh, that comes out of uh, this particular device in essence this is a scaled down version of uh, the camera set that we see in the S23 lineup and uh, I took the phone um, you know on Safari tested uh, you know video on a bumpy game drive you know also took um, some photos on that drive testing it against phones like uh, the iPhone 14 Pro Max iPhone 12 as well as um, a Galaxy Note 10. So a quick word on the camera, starting off with photos, as I said, you know, pretty good images, but I did notice that there's a difference between the way that an image is looking in the viewfinder versus the final photo that actually appears in your gallery. A lot of the time I did notice hot spots um, when I was trying to take, you know, photos, um, elements in the screen that looked like they were overexposed, you know, they were hot spots, there were white spots, and it looked like, you know, the photo wouldn't appear very well and that the HDR wasn't working very well. But after you snap the photo, it actually, um, you know, fills in the gaps and you get a really nice crisp image. And I noticed that the same was also evident, um, you know, on the photo side, on the video side as well, that, uh, you know, as you're taking a video, you might notice some of these hot spots, but you know, after you're done recording and review um, what you've just taken, you know, a lot of that has been taken out and has been smoothened out by the camera. The other thing to note is that uh, the camera doesn't do particularly well in uh, low light conditions. That's to be expected, but certainly uh, something to note. Number three on the list is that uh, this particular phone is actually quite durable. From my testing, I actually dropped the phone twice from the height of about a meter. Um, in America, they would say about three to three and a half feet. And, you know, it survived, you know, both falls quite fine. One of the things that you will find is uh, the design is similar to the S23 line, but the materials are more different. You're using a lot more plastics as opposed to glass in this, you know, particular particular type of design so a lot more durable from that point of view. Number four is the fact that uh, because like we said this is more on the budget side of things the specs aren't as strong as what we see in some of the more premium devices so I did find uh, that uh, there was a little bit of lag and it was a little bit slow in certain instances so for example your double tap to wake uh, you know was a little bit slow 
animations you know through scrolling and navigating the ui um, on the phone you know some of those can be a little bit janky uh, as can be expected and then lastly you know the camera i did notice that when you snap photos in certain instances it there's a slight lag that happens you know when you take that press the button and then you have to wait just a little bit before that uh, that picture is snapped number five is good news for anyone who might have battery anxiety a24 carries a huge 5000 milliamp hour battery um you know which is uh, much bigger than a lot of the batteries that we saw on the you know more high-end um, s23 lineup so very good on that front Number six on the list for all of us audio lovers, the Galaxy A24 has a headphone jack. Number seven, this is probably one of the biggest considerations if you're in the market for a budget device, and that is the price. The A24 is a mid-range or budget option, and it does fall, you know, along the spectrum of uh, Samsung's uh, A range. Uh, there's actually an A04, an A14, A24, um, an A34, and I think an A54, you know, so you find the A24 being in the middle of that uh, particular category. The phone is going to set you back, um, you know, between 4,000 and 4,500 Rand if you are in South Africa where I am. But internationally, you're looking at uh, just under 180 US dollars or um, just under 160 pounds in the UK. A little bit of a bonus, as I said, uh, we did test out uh, the A24 versus an older device that is the Galaxy Note 10. Uh, that's actually my sister Mufaro's device. And, uh, you know, I actually asked a little bit of what she thought um, about the A24. Ooh, the A24 definitely carries a lot more weight. And I like the diversity that the cameras bring, especially when taking photos or videos. It makes it look more professional in whatever work that I'm doing, whether I'm creating content, whether I'm just taking photos for like private consumption. It's definitely gotten the edge over the ones that I have. I have a Note 9, which is quite diverse within itself. But the A24 is just, it's the cameras. They give that, they give variety, right? And it gives me a lot more that I can do with the camera. As for the system and things like that, the phone is pretty. It reacts well most of the time and it is on the slow side when flipping from picture to picture or from app to app. Other than that, it's a it's an okay phone. Yeah, I definitely buy it if I needed a camera. As for functionality, the Note 9 still still wins. So in conclusion, I would say that uh, the A24 is a great device for the price uh, because that is the biggest consideration when you are in uh, this segment of the market. What is the value for money? But I would say that, um, you know, for someone who is in that market, you do have to temper your expectations. If you are someone who has maybe a flagship device and you're getting this as a secondary device, just know that it's going to be a little bit slower but it is to be expected like i said you know for the price you're really getting great performance and you're getting you know pretty you know decent uh, design uh, decent specs and a device that at least carries a good camera set so that's it in terms of this video you guys can let us know what you think are there any other budget phone options that you'd like us uh, to look at or review um you know are there any phones that you could suggest at uh, a similar a price point or are there any others that you might be curious about you guys can let us know what you think let us engage do you want to see you know more content such as this you guys can let us know what you think and i'll catch you guys in the next video this is muffs too much and you're watching mob justice tv like us on facebook follow us on instagram follow us on twitter we're there on youtube thank you for watching our video subscribe